Just to give you a quick rundown on how to uh, gut a fish. We've got a nice prime salmon here, and the key thing, apart from the fact that a cat had a bit of a go at its uh, lower jaw for a minute ago, we're going to put the knife in at the vent, and we cut down what is an imaginary centre line, which when you see it, uh, comes between these two fins and all the way up basically to the throat. I'm one of those that cuts the head off rather than leaving the head on, uh, simply because I've got to carry the head back to the car and it's a wee way to go. So I'm going to show you how I would normally take a head off in this situation. I've just got my trusty Swiss Army knife here to do it with. Well, here we go. I make the first cut just behind this fin and retain as much of the meat as I can up there. Some people do keep the fins, I'm not one of those that does that. I come up underneath the gill area here and then come straight across the back, going through the backbone. Not quite as hard as it looked there, I made it look harder than it should have been, but here we go, then we tip it over on the other side. This is a rather big fish. It is a rather big fish. <laughs> and we'll come back, got a big backbone. Same basic thing here, puncture down to there, and then coming from behind there, all the way through, again cutting through the backbone. Now that should have taken the whole head and guts out, so all I do is I basically can take them all out in one, one piece. So in this particular case it's a very good quality fish, so we've got all the guts out from there, we've got a little bit of the row which is going to be forming for next year's spawning, not that they can spawn in this place. And away we go. Pull out the rest of that there. Uh, if the friendly cat's here, we can let them have that. Other than that, we'll uh, dispose of it and uh, either bury it, or if you've got a fast flowing river that's got eels and so forth in it, then it's quite okay to put it in there. Now, right in the center of the fish, we've got what's called the kidney. And so I would normally cut down the middle of that with my knife. And then you can do it with a spoon if you don't like doing it with your fingers, but I've caught too many fish, so <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I just run my fingers down there, and that cleans out the kidney, takes all that extra meat and stuff out, and uh, looks a bit gory, <laughs> but um, unfortunately it is a blood sport, and we do like eating them. And I know we buy a uh, fish and meat package from the fishmongers or the supermarket. But, uh, there you have it, it's basically quite clean. Now I'm going to wash this in the water. And uh, I'm just get the camera to follow. It's just a question of cleaning it up. At this point you might want to scale it. I'm not a scaler of fish, I tend to skin them and like them filleted without bones and so forth, so I'll process this further at home. But I've just got it in a state where it's really good enough to walk with. And there you have it. <laughs>